in a minute. Just, just before we do, right, while I was here, I discovered a woman uh, who's kind of, she's haunted me. This woman has haunted me. How hard do you think you work? Yeah, pretty hard. I earn pre work pretty hard. I have to do this programme, right, plus I have to go up to Yorkshire and do a heartbeat. Plus, I have to double up in East End. This is Big Ron, right? <laughs> but no one in the entire world works as hard as this one. Get a pen and paper and work out, if you will, this woman's hours. I get up at about ten past four in the morning, and I drive. It takes me about an hour to drive into the studio. Right. She goes over ten past four. Let's give her twenty minutes to have a shower. She doesn't waste time washing her hair, right? <laughs> half past four. It takes her an hour to get from home to the studio. That's uh, half past five, right? So I compile and present the travel bulletins, and that goes on through the rush hour till the first part of the afternoon. OK, so what's that? Say two o'clock. So half past five, she works until two o'clock, right? And then, then what, you've finished? I go home, have a sleep and have something to eat or whatever, and then come back and do love songs from ten till two in the evening. All right, so you come back, you do love songs from 10 o'clock at night until 2 o'clock in the morning. Say you get away from the studio at 10 past 2. We know it takes you an hour to get home, that's 10 past 3. <laughs> and you have to get up at 10 past 4 and come back to the chapel. <laughs> but surely, if you work those kind of hours, you'd, you'd be a nervous wreck on the point of breaking down all the time. Essex FM, foreplay, take that, Brian Adams, Squeeze and Shanice. And we're wrapping up the show with a great tune, live version of Simply Red's Holding back the years. Good night. <laughs> and now she's got to drive home for an hour. And as she, just as she pulls into her drive, she'll meet her own car coming out again to go and the news and weather.